Cape Otway is a major tourist destination and the local economy here is built around its beautiful natural environment and iconic species, the Australian koala. We are working hard to protect and preserve both. Sadly, the koalas at Cape Otway have destroyed much of their habitat and their welfare is compromised. This is impacting significantly on local landholders and businesses. The Victorian Government has committed to tackling the difficult and complex issue of koala overpopulation and its impacts at Cape Otway. In early 2015, the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning consulted a panel of animal welfare and ecological experts. We sought advice on how best to proactively manage the koala overabundance at Cape Otway. The department now has short-term welfare actions in place and a pathway to long-term management of the koala overabundance at Cape Otway. Overabundance of koalas at Cape Otway is a complex, long-term issue brought about by their love of managums, their reluctance to change food source, favourable climatic conditions and an absence of predators. Where populations of koalas are higher than sustainable levels, overbrowsing and defoliation of favoured food species leads to starvation and ultimately death of the koalas. The Cape Otway koala management actions aim to achieve healthy native forest and a sustainable population of healthy koalas at Cape Otway. The welfare of koalas is our first priority and has guided the staged action approach. The first recommended action by the expert panel was to conduct a koala health assessment to gain information about the health status of the population and how it relates to the condition of the habitat. Results from the four-day health assessment conducted in May 2015 indicate a link between poor canopy cover and poor koala health. Of the 10 sites assessed, there were three sites where the koalas were found to be in poor health. Across the other seven sites, the koalas were generally found to be in average body condition. Results from the health and habitat assessment confirmed that further work as detailed in the management actions will need to be taken to protect the welfare of the koalas at Cape Otway. The department continues to seek guidance from the expert panel on short and long term management actions. In September 2015, the department is returning to Cape Otway. The welfare actions will include assessing the health of about three to 400 koalas, euthanizing unhealthy koalas to prevent suffering, fertility controlling healthy females, and capturing a sample of healthy koalas for a trial translocation. The trial translocation will involve selecting 30 healthy koalas, placing radio collars on them, and releasing them to a recently identified location of potentially suitable habitat. A further 30 healthy koalas with radio collars will remain in situ at Cape Otway as a control group for comparison with the translocated koalas. Throughout the trial, the movement, health and survival of the translocated koalas will be carefully monitored to gauge the suitability of the site for large-scale translocation of Cape Otway koalas.